You ever find yourself wearing an old pair of noise cancelling headphones or earphones and wishing that they had some sort of transparency mode available? Well, Safe Headphones is an application that actually adds this exact feature to any set of headphones. You just grant the app some permissions, then turn it on, and straight away you'll start hearing your surrounding sounds even with your headphones on. The app essentially uses your phone's microphones to then pass those environmental sounds through your headphones, and it's crazy just how well it works. And whilst we're in the world of audio, next up is James DSP, and this is a pretty cool application that can greatly enhance any audio playing on your phone. There are a stack of settings to play around with, some of which I literally have no clue what they do, but with the right settings applied, you can essentially make any phone speakers sound exactly how you want them to. The app does require ADB permissions to be granted either via Shizuku or via your computer, and unfortunately it doesn't work with Spotify unless you use the revanced version, but for most other things, it works really well. Okay, switching things up now, and next up we have Horizon. And whilst this isn't necessarily an application, strictly speaking, it is my latest wallpaper pack, and team, I am super, super excited about this one. So this pack is filled with 10 stunning landscape style backdrops that I reckon look incredible. And we've designed these wallpapers to leave plenty of room for icons and widgets down the bottom, making them seriously perfect for creating beautiful home screen setups. On top of the 10 original designs, there are also two alternate versions of the hillside and village wallpapers available as well. And the pack also comes with 10 desktop variants in both 4K and 8K resolutions so that you can use them in a landscape orientation on any widescreen device. I'm really proud of the work my team have put into this wallpaper pack, so hopefully you love them as much as I do. And just as a thank you to everyone who watches this video, if you use the code HORIZON50 at checkout, you'll get 50% off this wallpaper pack for the entire month of April. And even more than that, if you sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live, then you'll actually get this entire pack completely for free. But if you're instead interested in a wallpaper app, then WallWow is a fresh new wallpaper application with some really unique functionality included. So the app comes with a bunch of wallpapers under a stack of categories that are pretty cool in and of themselves. But what I think makes this app so great is the functionality available when you come over to this Create tab. On this page, you're actually able to create your own custom wallpapers in a variety of really cool styles, including these minimal vector style wallpapers, these gradient color based wallpapers. There's even this disco light wallpaper creator, which is seriously cool. You can then upload any of your custom made backdrops to help build the collection of wallpapers found within the app. Plus there are a bunch of other features as well. So definitely a wallpaper app worth checking out. And staying in the realm of customization for one more minute, and friend of the channel, Junaid from Just New Designs, has just released a brand new icon pack that I just had to feature called the Adaptive U Icon Pack. If you're all about those Material U auto themed icons, but are fed up with home screens that look like this, thanks to a lack of supported icons, then Adaptive U is an icon pack you'll seriously wanna check out. And that's because the app comes with over 3,200 icons at launch, with plenty more being added every single month, and every icon will automatically change its color to match your wallpaper. It also supports dark and light themed icons, so it's a fantastic high quality icon pack that'll help you to spice up just about any old home screen. All right, you know what else is an incredible app? Today's video sponsor, Pulseway. And for anyone who reckons it's impossible to be in more than one place at a time, well, Pulseway would beg to differ. You see, Pulseway is an IT monitoring and management platform that gives its users access to any system and system device from one place. And this means you can use it to respond to and control everything as easily as you like. What's amazing though, is that Pulseway also has a fully functional mobile app. And this makes quickly patching and resolving any issues outrageously convenient. As soon as an issue pops up, it'll instantly send you a notification both on the web platform and via the mobile app. And this means you'll be able to step in straight away, fix the issue and potentially even save the day. Trust me, this is the sort of tool that makes IT technicians straight up heroes. 
So to level up your IT management, use the first link down in the description to start a free non-commitment based trial and experience the amazing platform that is Pulseway today. Okay, from there we have System UI Tuner. And this is an app that has actually been around for a few years now, but has become even more useful in recent times. You see, back in the Android Marshmallow and Android Nougat days, there was this hidden menu available on pretty much all Android devices called the System UI Tuner. And this menu offered a few minor, but handy customization options for all Android phones. But with later versions of Android, not only did this menu get hidden and was pretty tricky to access, but most, if not all of the customization options stopped working. And so that's where third-party app System UI Tuner comes in, because not only does this app bring back all of those classic customization options, but even unlocks a bigger collection of system tweaks to go with. So alongside hiding which icons appear in the status bar, you can also use this app to disable the system safe audio warning and customize various UI system sounds. You can even set custom device lock timeout durations or set which radios should be disabled when toggling your system airplane mode. Plus there's a huge variety of other features and tweaks available as well. Now the app does need ADB permissions to be granted, plus some of the tweaks will only work on certain devices, but regardless, it's a really powerful app that is just a heck of a lot of fun to play around with. Next up is App Ops, and this is another powerful app, but this one is for managing the permissions on your phone. So with the app open, you'll be presented with a list of the apps installed on your phone, and you can then tap on any of them to view the various permissions they each have access to. So for example, you can see that this app here called Black Screen has access to my phone's clipboard. It also has notification permission. It can also display over other apps, keep the phone awake as well as run a foreground service. But then what's great is that I can tap on any of these permissions and quickly change them as necessary. Alternatively, if you've upgraded to the premium version, then you can also view every single permission as subcategories if you like, and then change permissions that way instead. Then we have Cappuccino, and this is a really unique sort of social media based app that I stumbled upon recently that I reckon has an amazing concept. The idea is that you create your own groups within the app and then share links to those groups with whoever you like. And then any user of that group can then record what are called beans, which are essentially short voice memos. Once recorded, you then send your bean off and then every morning at 8 a.m., all of those beans will be compiled into a cappuccino, which is essentially like a mini podcast with music added and fades and whatnot, and then all of the recordings from the previous day. It's a seriously fun concept and makes for a great way to stay in touch with friends. Second to last today is Tappy, a fun third-party keyboard application that offers stacks of customization options. You get a pretty wide selection of keyboard layouts from T9 to QWERTY and even a Xerty, which I didn't know was a thing. And then you can pick from a huge range of themes, adjust a range of typing preferences, and with a little bit of setup time, you can essentially transform your entire typing experience so that it behaves exactly how you want it to. The app does start off free with a 30 day trial, after which point you will need to pay to upgrade. But at the very least, you can try it, see if you like it, and then go from there. And so the last app on the list today is Tooly, a simple yet outrageously useful application that contains a huge collection of utility-based features. So for example, you've got text tools like changing case format or reversing slabs of text or even generating stylistic text. There's also image-based tools like resizing and even rounding images. And the app even includes a bunch of development tools for anyone who's into coding. There's also a heap more on top of that. In fact, over 100 different tools at the time of making this video. Plus the app just has a really clean and unique design to go with. But that's it, 10 Android apps that I reckon are in one way or another, seriously impressive. Now, as I said, I do also have promo codes for every single one of my channel members for a bunch of the apps featured in today's video. So a huge thank you to each of the developers on screen right now, as they were all very gracious in offering up some promo codes. And as mentioned, if you want the promo codes yourself, then all you need to do is sign up as a channel member within the first two weeks of this video going live, join the members only section of the channel discord, and that's it. 
And if you want to discover even more amazing Android apps, then I highly recommend checking out my very own application shelf, which is filled with a huge collection of app recommendations. And a few of the apps featured in today's video actually came straight from the user added app section within the app. Aside from that, if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.